You're listening to the Daily Sales Tips Podcast, and I'm your host, Scott Ingram. Today, I've got a clip from my very first interview on the Sales Success Stories Podcast with Mike Dudgeon. At the time, Mike was the number one AE at LinkedIn, and after this clip, I'll tell you what Mike's up to now. It'll be more fun that way. Here he is. I think we've all heard the classic you know, quote of, of always work for a great leader, don't work for a great company, Some, something to that effect. But you know, there's been p- times in my career where I've chosen a company over the leader, right? There's a big shiny brand that I went for versus the leader. And I would say that that was a mistake that I'll never do again. But the mentor's standpoint, I, you know, for me at the time, because I was a bit more introverted than most, Bill Youngberg helped me a ton because he's definitely over on the extroverted side. I mean, probably brought it out of me a, a lot more than I, I realized but also was extremely kind and compassionate in the development of me. I think he, you know, it was pure luck, frankly, getting such a good mentor. I would like to say I was conscious at the time and selecting him, but he selected me. And, you know, I think it was having compassion and understanding of my unique skills. And I think he just did a great job of, of bringing them out of me in, in such a short time. And I wish I wish I would have been more more selective or conscious of that decision, especially even after that. I don't think I realized at the time how great I had it, but I would have. That's one thing I guess I'd recommend to people is just be conscious of, especially through the interview process. And when you're looking at leadership, it matters so much. You know, the results thing is, is definitely there, but making sure that you have a good leader who has a process, but also has compassion to learn about you and understand your strengths and know how to put those strengths to, to use. Today, Mike is one of those great leaders. He's still at LinkedIn working as a senior sales manager with their key accounts team. And at last year's Sales Success Summit, he gave an incredible presentation on treating your sales career like a franchise owner. And you could just see how great a leader he is in that presentation. I'm pretty sure everybody in the room wanted to go work for Mike after watching that. We'll have a link to that presentation over at dailysales.tips forward slash 155, where you'll also find a link to Mike's LinkedIn profile, of course, as well as our original interview together. Thanks again for listening, and make sure you're subscribed to the podcast so you'll get a notification tomorrow about another great sales tip. (laughs) 